Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid. Mike has a bad headache and he's actually resting on the couch. So I'm mic'd up even though I'm inside. So I don't have to talk too loud at you guys from the other room. Um, man, I, uh, I came in here. My hummingbirds are going crazy. I don't know if you can see out this window because it's so bright outside right now. But there's a feeder right there and they are just... There's one there right now. My other two feeders, they already drank dry and I just refilled them yesterday. So I actually just came in here, made another pot of juice for them. I got some rice in here that I am starting right now. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want that. I'll do it that way, that's better. And there it goes. Okay, I never remember. Um, and uh, I saved, I always rinse my rice out really well. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I've had some people say, and I've seen some videos of people talking about it, where you take your rice water and you water your plants with it, that it's got some good stuff in it for them. So I'm going to take this outside to water some of my porch plants to give them some extra goodies. But I'm actually, you guys, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to be uh, making some stew for tonight. We actually had, um, I got my, my celery, my carrots, my onions, some bell pepper, and then uh, I got this, I forget what kind of cut it was, but I've had my steak in here marinating. I'm going to throw it all into the Instapot here and we're going to call it a day. I did forget to grab a knife, of course. So... Got to grab my knife, right? And I did wash my hands, guys. My hands are clean. Don't worry. But it's really it's only our family eating this, so I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll maybe I'll spit on it or something weird. I don't know. But I uh, figured I better get this all in here. Frankie went to uh, a friend of the family's house to go swimming at the pool today with some of her friends, and so I got to go pick the kids up and my friend dropped them off but I figured I might as well get dinner situated get it in the instant pot so that it has time to sit there and marinate with all the goodies before I have to go get her I, I do love an instant pot where I can just set the timer on it and uh, let it do its thing you know but it does, you guys, I still feel like we just got home. And I know we've been home for a few days now. But I still feel kind of like, I don't know, like it always takes me a while after I go somewhere to sort of like settle back in, I guess. Um, I just always feel like there's things that I got to catch up on and that I, that I missed on and whatever. And I just got to, got to kind of keep up with all of it, I suppose, but we had a big day for us today at the church we uh some of you may remember that mike uh because he hadn't been baptized before he got baptized a few weeks ago and tim from ridge life was kind enough to come down and participate in that and help dunk him in the water that was a that was a special day and uh one of the reasons why we you know wanted to kind of get that done was aside from the fact that, you know, it needed done, <laughs> was that uh, we wanted to join the church officially. And until Mike was for sure baptized um, or christened or something of that nature, we couldn't officially join the church. So today, all three of us got to officially join the church. And I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, I need to start remembering to keep a pack of Kleenex in our pew <laughs> because it never fails every couple of weeks either i get touched by a sermon or i mean something just gets me and i'll tear up or start crying at church and i got nothing to wipe my snot with right <laughs> so there we are in front of the whole congregation and i'm just tearing up like crazy so and i think even I think even Mike might have gotten a little, might have gotten a little bit teary-eyed there, but you know, it was it's a big day for for us, so it was it was really special, and um, 
I'm glad that that's done. We've got a, the pasture that we currently have now is only going to be with us for one more week. And obviously he was there when we got here and we just really like him and we don't know how long it's going to be before we get a new, uh, permanent pastor at our church. And, um, that's a little bit like, oh, you know, we're just praying about it and we're just hoping, you know, things are going to work out and it's going to be what it's supposed to be and the right person will be there. But, um, we wanted to make sure that we got a chance to join, um, and have brother Brian kind of, um, be the one to do it for us because we just, we really like him a lot. And, um, we just, you know, just kind of, I guess, stepping off into the unknown since we didn't know who was going to be there next. And we didn't really want to put it off any longer. So we were really, really happy that we kind of snuck in under the wire before, before brother Brian is leaving us and, um, praying for him too, that he lands at the right, at the right spot for him and his family. Um, but it's, uh, definitely going to be interesting the next while until we get, you know, whoever our permanent, uh, person's going to be, you know, so, and, and then we, of course, welcoming, welcoming them into the church. So I'm glad that we were able to officially join this week and, like I said, kind of get in under the wire, but, um, I, I did get some new plants this week. Um, you know, Mike is the, the plant guy in our family, right? Y'all know that. Like he's helped, uh, well, I guess now he's helped, you know, Mike with different dreamers five and, and SLR Mel and Gary, and uh, he's given plants to, um, to Roxanne and Anthony at, at CRC and he's just spreading his seed everywhere it's basically what's happening <laughs> but in a good way <laughs> and uh you know I'm trying to spread his knowledge of the things that he's learned about plants and planting over the years because it's something that he's really passionate about and really uh really good at <clears throat> and so I am not that um I remember when I had my first apartment it was right when Mike and I started dating I had a little balcony on my apartment and I had bought this little flower bed and I put these little miniature roses in it and basil and some other, you know, kind of herbs or whatever. And they lasted a while, but then eventually, like, I don't know, they died. And so <laughs> it's like a mystery. I don't know. They just died. <laughs> I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. But <laughs> I'm just not, I don't have the best track record with plants. Um, I am much better with living creatures that have like eyeballs than I am with plants. However, we did have a plant, a ha an indoor plant that we actually inherited. Actually, there were two of them that we got from the person that we bought the old house from that left them. They were house plants. And I managed to keep the one alive. The other one sadly ended up getting moved up onto a top shelf and I, it was out of sight, out of mind. I never saw it. And then it died. Um, but <laughs> I did keep it alive for a while until it got rehomed. But, um, and I've had, you know, at our old, old, old house, we had a little balcony, not a balcony, a patio rather. And I had hanging plants out there, you know, during the summer and stuff. Um, but out here, um, there's this wonderful little strip of garden in the front of the uh, porch and I um, got some amazing hostas that Rory the previous owner had planted in there and they are just going crazy right now they're flowering the hummingbirds love them I mean they look amazing if I get this finished chopping before too much longer I'll, I'll take y'all outside so you can see how it's popping off out there um, I gotta let my hummingbird mixture cool down but I do have that rice water that I need to water the plants with. So we'll see if we make it out there. But, uh, but yeah, man, I'm telling you, like, it just looks great out there this time of year. Everything's just growing like crazy. My gardenias that I was afraid, my two big giant gardenia bushes that are in the very front, in front of the big window in the front of the house, I thought for sure we're not going to come back, but they are coming back guys. They are 
popping. They're not, no blooms on them yet, but all the green leaves are starting to come back. Um, not just in one spot, but like all throughout, um, which is really exciting because I was really worried. We were even talked about like, what are we going to do if those die? We're going to, you know, we're going to have to cut them out and, you know, cause they're big bushes. Um, and he was like, yeah, you know, maybe I'll put some raised beds there, which he still might do like right underneath the window. Might put some herbs or something over there. Um, I think he said something about that part, getting the right amount of light for that sort of thing, but we'll see. And uh, I think that, I think they're going to come back. I think they probably need about another month before maybe we'll start seeing some real, real action, I guess, on those, on those gardenias. Um, but man, I'm so excited to see them coming back. I was really worried that, that they weren't going to make it, but they are making it. And that's, that's a good thing, you know? I mean, such a good thing. So, uh, I bought the plants, which of course now I can't remember the name of. I'm gonna, I'll am i take you guys out there so we can look at them in a minute. Just got to get my carrots in here. But, um, but man, um, they've got these red and green leaves. And there's two different kinds of plants. And one has dots. And one is smaller than the other. And then there's this other one that, again, I don't remember what it's called, but they're real pretty. And they're supposed to do well in, you know, partial shade and all, you know, basically in a shady patio spot, they'll do well. And so I got to go, I got, the, got to get them out there and get them planted yesterday afternoon. I popped out there. I spent ever uh, editing the video of us visiting uh, Mel and Gary from uh, SLR and uh, visiting David and Mike and Lissa from uh, Drifting Dreamers and Come On Homestead, soon to be Come On Outdoors. And man, I spent longer than I would spend normally on a video getting it edited because there were three different cameras worth of footage. And over the course of two days of filming, maybe three days actually technically, and um it was just a lot to like go through and think up and figure out in what order things were and it just took me a lot longer and there was so much footage and there was so much that happened that it kind of ended up being like a um a really long video <laughs> so we ended up we did that today actually as a premiere um and so we came home from church and to hurry up and have the premiere <laughs> and uh and get that going and uh and it was fun we had a great great group of you in there that joined us for that and that was that was fantastic we had a great time and uh oh, i'll take you guys outside i'm gonna grab my rice water here and uh see if i can let's see if i can do this and uh, take you guys outside so we can go look at those plants now I watered my indoor plants in here. Like, see, look, Marvin looks good, right? That's Marvin. That's the one everybody thought wasn't going to make it. But Marvin's doing good. Let's see if we can make it outside here. Hold on. Hard to do when you got your hands full. I gotta see if that um that sugar water cooled down enough yet. But see, look at this, guys. This is that you know when you rinse your rice. I'll take it out in the light. Maybe you guys can see better. When you rinse your your rice. Get that milky water and uh anyway it's supposed to be good for your plants so i've got some some plants here gonna water a little bit but look see my gardenias coming back see all the green i'm so excited and they're they're both looking good and then you can see all my hostas blooming i mean look at them all down here they look amazing and then i had planted some of my my wandering Jew that's hanging in those baskets right there, some of the branches had come off and I replanted them down here in between because they are like a vine. And so I've got them crawling across the ground down in here. And that's one of my new ones. It's called a something splash select red or something. Anyway, I'm going to give it some rice water here. And there's, there's bunk. There's bunk. Here's one of my other ones. What is this one called? This is the one with the spots here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to flip the camera. It's a gingerland. 
Caladium. Caladium? Caladium. I don't know. It's got another leaf that's about to, to open up here. Get some rice water on that. And then I got this one, which is like the same thing, but different. Get some rice water on that. And then I know I planted another one. Oh, it's back here. It's behind here. It's back, it's back behind this hosta. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna give, see, these are already empty. I just filled these yesterday, see? So, but look at this guys. I mean, that we had, I had hummingbirds swarming under here this morning while I had my coffee. And I'm telling you, man, they just go crazy. So I made them some more and uh, I just gotta wait for it to cool down. I don't want them to burn their little tongues on that. So I gotta make sure I let it cool down enough before I attempt <laughs> to uh, to refill these for them. But but uh, I'm so excited they've all come back because the first few weeks everybody was like, oh, well, the middle of March is when all the hummingbirds in Mississippi and northern Mississippi come back. And I'm like, I didn't see any for a while. I didn't see any till like April, and it was like one, two. Now I'm seeing like ten and fifteen and stuff at a time. So they're really, they're back now. <laughs> Cause I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, when we moved here, I didn't see any hummingbirds when we first moved in July, but granted there were no feeders. Then I noticed like one or two on these hosta blooms, which I seem to remember us, I don't know how many times these hostas bloom. I don't know much about them. But what I do know is that I remember when we moved, there were blooms on them like this at least at one point during the summer because i do remember um the the hummingbirds going to them and seeing them down here um and then mike was like one of them is dipped by me um mike was like you know i don't think there's any hummingbirds out here um but if you want to hang up feeders go ahead you see them zipping around me right now they're see they're they're all if they turn this way so maybe you guys can see more of them zipping around but they um probably mad because their feeders their main feeders are empty but they uh I, i've not had since i painted the the haint blue i've not had the uh the issue with the wasps i do still get them kind of poking around up here by these vents in the in the eaves but they usually just kind of go around and then leave so i haven't really had an issue with that luckily um but anyway, these hostas, like I said, I don't know how long they bloom for. I can't remember. I just remember that they did have blooms at some point when we got here during the summer and that they lasted until the plant died. Like everything went away in here in like the fall and then it all came back a couple months ago. It started coming back. And so, and all these are supposed to come back, um, you know, again, and some of these are split off. In fact, in the fall, I can go through and separate the shoots because um, I know my girlfriend wanted some. I can see just from standing here which ones are, have divided. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. Like this one's divided. This one's got a separate clump. This one, this one's got a separate, separate clump there over here. I mean, they, every single one of them. And this monster over here. I mean, I haven't gotten underneath that to look at it, but I can just imagine. That's my biggest one. Um, so I might, what I think I might do is some of them I might thin out and replant, like to fill in some areas down there. Um, and then I might give some of the other pups to, um, to some of my friends that were asking about these hostas because apparently I have really nice ones. Now I did not do anything to these other than water them during August and September a bit because, um, we didn't have much rain. And they were looking a little sad so i did water them a bit during that time um, but honestly they don't even take that much water to perk back up um because i was just filling my watering can i didn't even get out here with the hose <laughs> so it worked though no, nobody died and they all came back beautiful this year um but i did add a few of my own plants this year so i'm i'm kind of excited in fact i might rip out some there's some ivy down here that I'll show you guys. In fact, there's, we were laughing. I thought this was something else. And Mike goes, no, hun, those are pine trees. So there's little pine trees starting that I got to go through and pull these out. <laughs> there's obviously, there's some weeds over here too. 
I pulled a bunch of weeds on that side, but I didn't get to this side the other day. So I got some weeds in here to pull. But as you can see, this ivy, like it's <laughs> trying to get in my hosta and strangle it. But this big ivy here ends up just kind of taking over this whole area. I might take that ivy out, not while it's blooming right now, but what I might do is pull it out in the fall. Where'd I go? There I am. Um, I might pull this out. I might just leave this one by this post that's here and just kind of maybe wrap it around the base of, of here. Um, but then I might take this one out and then just plant another hosta here and another hosta here so that I'd have like hosta, hosta, hosta. And then I could probably fit one more hosta right here. I might do that. I might plant a few more of those. But all of these plants and these things are blooming like crazy right now, too. I don't even know. They look like some kind of lily. I don't know what they are. But they're really pretty. And then I don't know what these things are behind me. But they're really pretty. They don't smell like anything that I could tell the other day when I was in there. But they, they're pretty. Um, and I'm sure that they're attracting, you know, pollinators to the area, which is always a good thing. So yeah, guys, I mean, it's been a good Sunday, other than Mike having a headache and, and me ending up having to fly solo today, but that's okay. I wasn't flying solo. I had you lovely people along for the ride with me today um, on this Sunday afternoon. But as you're seeing it, of course, it's Memorial Day, and hopefully you are uh, remembering the fallen who fought and sacrificed for our country and enjoying time with your your family and just hopefully it's a it's a nice beautiful day where you are and you can just appreciate it and and kind of count your blessings in that sense so guys on that note um i hope you're having a wonderful memorial day and we will see you tomorrow and god bless you and as always thank you guys.